Hello everyone. I know that it's been a while since I did a video. So today I have a great one for you. I have been practicing using sublimation ink and I am going to quickly ink some socks and some canvases um, with a solution that I made by watching YouTube. Of course, I bought a solution and it was so expensive and it was so small. So I had to come up with something else. Now these are some canvases that I did do sublimation on and as you can see they came out great I don't like the space too much white space so I got smaller canvases and um, so I'll go ahead and show you really quickly now the challenge with these canvases versus these is that this one is about uh, almost an inch thick and this one is merely flat, so it was easier to press. So I am going to have to figure out a way to get this to press by holding it up on the platelet, platen. This is the sublimation coating spray that I was using, which is very good in goodies. It's a very good one, but it's just too expensive, $9 for four ounces. So I made my own, and it's been working well. First, I flattened out my socks to expose the white part. They're gray on the bottom, and I'm going to spray a few coats, a few sprays. Mine is kind of concentrated, and I'm going to let it dry. And I'm going to also go ahead and spray the canvases, let them dry, and then I'm going to turn the photo upside down and tape it on with my heat resistant tape and after I do that I'll come back while the canvases are drying I'll go ahead and do the socks um, these socks are gonna come out kinda it's just for practice sake um, I had it that way and it wasn't short enough so I cut them in half and I'm doing it the long way because I'm trying to cover as much as this sock as I can. So I cut it in half and I'm going to, you can tape it if you're not comfortable, comfortable just placing it. Place it like that. Put it on the heat press for a few seconds and reveal. It's that simple. I want to quickly show you how I have it on the heat press. I have the socks with the stick apart kind of on the edge. Only because I have to get this heat press to get as flat as I can get it for the maximum um, absorption of the image. We have our paper on. Now let's close the heat press. I don't know if that's all up enough. Once I get it pressed and get it on, I'm gonna slide them down to make sure that I, well, Actually, I can't. It is on the edge as far as it could. Yeah, that's the best I can do with that. I had my timer set for 17 seconds, but I also like to just let it go a little longer. For like an additional 10. And I forgot to put my, my uh, I forgot what the name of this thing is. Sometimes I use parchment paper. So I'm going to take these off and let them cool. And then I'll do the um, canvases. And then we will reveal everything. I just put my canvas under the heat and holding it up to the plate just to let it dry real quick. And this is exactly what I'm going to have to do as I am trying to get this image on here since it's not flat it's not going to close that's as far as it goes we have the canvases all taped down and like I said because it's not flat the challenge is holding it on that flat surface um, hard enough and long enough so that 
it can adhere to the canvas. So let's see. I'm going to do one on camera, then I'm going to do all three of all, all the other two, and then I'll reveal. And however it turns out, I'll let you know. This plate is on the bottom. Not hot at all, so I can't put it there. Okay, so just have to eat it and make sure that my feet. And I'm just gonna hold it up there as flat as I can and as hard as I can. I'm gonna push down on one hand with this and push up on one hand with this and hope that I can get all the areas. I'm gonna just have to like, oh, okay. Ooh, that's hot. Please work. Cause I really wanna hang these photos and I don't want the whites, too much white space on the other canvas. Oh man, I'm trying to, I see some smoke. Come on, baby, get on there. I'm gonna take it off for a minute just to see if the paper is kind of stuck to the canvas like it should be. I don't know what's going on here. I'm scared to take it off right now. But anyway, I'm just going to keep it on there for a while. Kind of want to push down on this middle part and make sure that it's getting on there. Oh, it shouldn't be doing this like that. And you need to be careful because if you're not, what I'm doing, I'm oh, just taking this piece of paper and this empty space in between the canvas, kind of just um, spreading this over it so that it can touch. I hope I ain't messing up, but hey, you never learn until you mess up. Okay, so let me do the other two off camera and I'll be back for the reveal. Now for the big reveals. Come on. One moment. Let me set a table up. Okay. Oh my goodness. Well, look at there. How cute. I like it. Okay, now that's great, but let's well, this one here has some little flaws on it. Can you see? But still, the process works great. And before I reveal, so before I forget, just in case you were wondering, well, what did she make her own solution with? Polyurethane and water. They have different measurements on the internet on YouTube, but I just use my own measurements. I want it to be a little bit stronger than the one that I bought. And the one that I bought, it has like a, a really bad smell that had me sneezing. But the one that I made didn't have any smell. All right, guys. See if this came out. Oh, damn. I can already see it didn't. Look at that. I kind of want to just leave it and put it back. I'm going to try to do something different. One moment. So what I'm going to try to do, I got to get it as flat as I can. I'm going to try to put it on here some type of way and see if I can get some heat. Oh, shit. No, that ain't going to even work. Dang. Maybe about loosen it up. Oh, no, that ain't getting on that period. I got to just hold it longer. Let me hold this thing a little longer and I'll be back. Otherwise, guys, if this don't work, then you know you have to use the flat ones. 
I think it's working better. I won't advise this and I won't be doing this again. Maybe, maybe not. But I got an old t-shirt and I'm going to hold it up against this part so that I can get it more flatter on the surface. Because I think that was my problem. Guys, I am so sorry. But you can, I think you can get images. Now, if that bottom plate was hot, I can definitely hold it down there. But it's not the bottom plate, it's just the top. But that might be too much heat for a heat press with the bottom and top plate. So I'm going to do this for a little bit. And I'll be back for the final reveal again. Final results, guys. It did come out better by holding it longer. And this is the one inch canvas versus the thin flat canvases. I just thought that these had too much white space and that that looked a lot better to hang on my wall. And what I'm going to do is finish up with, I'll show you. I'm going to let these dry probably for a good hour before I spray them with this Mod Podge um, clear acrylic sealer. I used another type to spray these and they turned out great. You can't see it um, from far back, but this one, I sprayed it too early and it started smudging. It didn't do it, didn't do it on these and this is on the flat one. So you can create all kind of beautiful sublimation printing art on canvases, on socks, on everything. And you just make your own sublimation spray. Have fun sublimating, guys. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and have yourself a lovely day.